What is going on, good people? Uh, we have some pretty exciting and sad news on this episode today. It is time for a new bike day, but that means that this beast is getting put into a bit of retirement. Got a time, it's about time to move it on, which is really sad. It's been an absolute weapon in the time that I've had it. So if you know anyone or are keen on getting your hands on this one, um, I honestly think it's one of the best bikes around, um, especially for like sort of the Southeast Queensland downhill and enduro series. Served me very well. Um, comes with all the goodies. Uh, if you want some more information, hit me up on Instagram or wherever. Um, but yeah, time for new bike day and I'm super excited about this one. Kept it on the down low. It was kind of a last minute sort of decision in a way. This was not planned out at all, um, but I just thought it was probably the perfect time to sort of do it um, before state enduro champs, before state downhill champs, and uh, Maydina and a few other little events that are coming up for the, the end of the year. Um, so yeah, super excited for this one, so stay tuned. So, if you haven't seen my socials already, because this will definitely be coming out after the, uh, kind of like the official launch, I'm gonna try and get some pretty sweet media and stuff around it, um, if and when I can. It's a big if at this stage. There's a lot that I wanted to go into it, um, with very, very little time just due to getting some um, miles and stuff on this bike. But, I am stoked to jump on a YT Capra Core 5. Um, very different to what I was on, slightly smaller travel, full Olin suspension, including a coil in the back, so very different. Um, I am gonna be still repping the We Are One uh, Triad carbon wheels, um, all the good stuff like Deity, Maxxis, Crank Brothers, SDG, um, and a few other little bits that go into it. Um, so the bike is gonna be relatively similar, but um, yeah, I mean the bike. So uh, the new bike is the only same thing on the new bike is going to be the um, SRAM XO transmission. So that was a huge, huge selling point for me. I absolutely love uh, the transmission stuff. It served me very well and it hasn't skipped a beat since getting it. Um, and then finally jumping onto some SRAM brakes as well, which I'm super excited about. But the real question is: is I have a brand new set of Mavens that I bought last week. Uh, before I knew that I was actually getting a new bike. So with this one coming with SRAM brakes, do I upgrade to the Mavens or not? I really don't know yet. I think because I am gonna be pretty time pressed and I have heard that the Mavens are a little bit of overkill, especially for here in Southeast Queensland, I won't be jumping on them straight away. I'll probably do like a few rides on the um, stock ones that come on this bike, which will be revealed very soon. Um, but yeah, food for thought. Let us know down in the comments if you have any suggestions. Um, I know they'll serve me well in Medina later in the year, but other than that, I think that these ones will have more than enough firepower for me up here. So, but we've got to take a long-term view and running Mavens, I mean, oh, they're pretty sick. So we'll see what happens, but yeah, let's get to building. So being the first YT bike, I'm always curious to see what's in the box. Definitely some cool goodies. Me first, definitely pulling that out first, clearly. And then even just like these little details, like an SDG YT seat, like definitely didn't know about that one, which is super sick. Um, yeah, just packaged up super, super well in here, which I'm just like very, very happy about. So off to a good start. Let's rip her open and see what we got. Oh, here we go. Look at that. How sick is that? Did not know it came with this. This is so rad. Looks like a torque. Oh, that's awesome. Torques with interchangeable Allen keys on it. Got one of the big dog Allen keys, all YT written over it, a new shock pump. 
and a new pump by the looks of it. Holy smokes, maybe some other little goodies as well. Man, that is, that is wild. What a cool little addition. And one of the coolest things about these bikes is they come with their own water bottle and water bottle cage to fit the bike just perfectly. Even got the little side bumper on there for no scratch or noise. Absolutely stoked with that. That is so cool. Cool. Which is, oh, got some SRAM access stuff, some stuff that are definitely not going near this bike ever. And then some awesome manuals about Olins and seat posts. Oh yeah, there we go. Pretty mad. There we go. So I've just unboxed it. I'm just gonna leave them in there for just a little while longer just so we can protect them because all that's actually unfortunately getting changed out. Sick brand and have ridden them before, love them. But where we're Deity, I love Deity and I'm gonna continue riding them. The cockpit feels amazing with the copperhead uh, stem and bar combo. Absolutely love it. But here she is. Whoa. Even got the Crank Brothers. Little storage compartment for your tube and pump and whatnot, which I'm super stoked about. And it's even got like a little, how sick is this? Comes with the bike. Like, little puncture repair kit, whatever you call it. And a super, super solid tire lever. Well, holy Moses, that's like better than my actual one. Now let's go figure out how to get it back in there. There we go, just clips back in there. How good's that? That's such a sick quality. Oil and shock on there. Looking forward to actually testing this out. I've never actually ridden a coil on an enduro bike before, so this will be pretty, pretty sweet. Like I said before, the little details, SDGC with the YT little logo, outstanding. Love that. And then we get down to the big boys, that uh, XO SRAM transmission held in by an E13 chain guard. Again, probably something that I probably should have put on the last bike, but I got away with it pretty well. Stunning new derailleur. Super excited. And here's the brakes. Just leave them in there like that for a little bit. And I am absolutely over the moon with this one. This is sick. Any recommendations on setting up Olins for a guy that's coming from Fox? Please let me know because I'm all ears. I am terrible at suspension setup. I'm a set and forget kind of guy. I do not change according to the venue. I'm more muck around with tire pressures than anything else. If that, I have my standards, I stick to them. So if you have any guidance on that, please hit me up because I'd love to know. All right, now, now we've got to start pulling apart the old bike. Wheels, bars, stem, 
Um, I am gonna have to change over the seat post as well because this one's only a 170, unfortunately. The 200 only comes on the XXL, so I'm told. So I'm gonna be whacking the 200 mil on there just because of my crazy long legs. Uh, um, other than that, bars, stem, grips, post, pedals, then we're good to roll. And we'll eventually build that buck back up as well. But for the meantime, we've actually got a few laps to get done today. Uh, so we need to build this up quickly because we've only got under two hours until we're kind of on the bike. Probably not gonna happen, but let's, let's give it a crack. Sense and silver bike, but a little color here and there's so losing it all. I'm definitely gonna need to put some. Right. Oh, that oh wow, that's pretty nifty. Both of the discs and put them on my new wheels, and then we are good to go, I believe. Alrighty, it's built. Sorry, I didn't film that last part. Under a little bit of a pressure, time pressure here, but got it all on. Sorry, the tires are a little bit dirty. <laughs> bit of dust from the last round, but she's all built, pretty much ready to go. Probably the seat post in there just for today, if I can make training, um, that's TVC. But yeah, I think it's time to hook in and do some suspension setup. We'll jump onto the YT website and plug it in and uh, basically gives you a ground base for every suspension setup. Perfectly has this for the Core 5 with the Olins on it. Um, and you can enter your weight and it basically gives you everything that you need to go. And uh, yeah, we'll probably just start from there and see what happens, but um, definitely gonna make some changes here and there. But uh, yeah, good starting ground, I reckon. But yeah, I think it looks pretty rad. Got the diety all on there. Looking all good. Do a final bolt check, final bit of suspension setup. Bed in the brakes a little bit with what I can. And uh, yeah, should be ready to roll soon. Alrighty, good morning fam. Um, we got a little bit caught up with the build at the end of that last one a couple of days ago. Um, fast forward now, a couple of days, and we finally got the rig sorted. So, ran out of friggin' uh, what you call it, uh, tubeless tape to retape the rim. Had a little bit of a front flat, but needed to actually replace the tires, anyways. Um, just get a few laps on them before state titles next week would be ideal. So, Here's the rig all nice and finished up, race ready, and I'm super stoked about it. So, what do we got? Diety cockpit, as always, absolutely loving it. The fresh Maxis, running the Asagai in the DH casing up the front, just for extra protection over the WR1s. Beautiful, beautiful combo. All in shock, very, very keen to try this out today. I've heard nothing but great reviews. And then, as per normal, XO drivetrain as well. You cannot go wrong with this thing. Rear wheel going with the um, Maxxis DHR2. Again, DH casing, just for extra protection. Being a larger rider, I can't, can't not do that. Got the 200 mil dropper on there. And I am so stoked with this build. I'm ready to rip in today. A little bit nervous, to be totally honest with you. Got to bet in some brakes. Literally haven't really ridden this thing at all, but um, yeah, keen to rip in. Oh, also too, 
We just had chapter 24 drop for fist as well. Got some sweet T-Rex. What are these ones? The Wrangler ones, fishing. What else we got? Some sushis. Got the owls. They're pretty sick actually, I don't mind those at all. And then the <laughs> crazy lollies that we all know and love here in Australia in those crazy little packets. Um, plus what else have we got? Oh yes. We got fresh tea. Nice and simple. Absolutely love it. With the crisp fist logo on it. So there's a 20 some of the 2024 drop. Super excited to bump that on today. I'm gonna go with the T-Rexes today. Because why not? Reminds me of my little dog because he turns into this whenever he sees a ball. So there we go. Alright. See you out on the trails. On the way down. <laughs> All right. All right, first lap, here we go. Woo. God, it's quiet as hell. This is awesome. Oh, I'm used to this. Better take it easy, but no brakes. That's a bit of a, a bit of a doozy. If things go wrong. Oh, it's been a while since I rode this course. Oh, the brakes kind of work. Woo! Oh, yeah. God damn. Fuck. Feel right at home with this thing. Wow, wait. Ooh, definitely, definitely need some more pressure. That's an epic. All right, let's continue. Go down mini. You didn't see that. That was risky, but <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh my gosh, this feels amazing. Oh, it's been. I hit these jumps a couple of times. Oh, wee. wet All right. not bad at all liking this That was sick. That went a lot better than I thought it would. Ooh, that's dusty. Alrighty, lap two, down a flow, blue trail. Couple of different compression settings that I just learned. Let's see what it does. Stop bottoming out so much. Might have to add some air. I don't know yet, let's see what happens. Ooh.
out those islands for. So like, because Kay had them on his meta, and with a lot of tuning, yeah, he said they were amazing. I raced an Elm bar and stuff on them, but he said it's just tricky to ramp up chamber and shit. Yeah, because Charger was just saying you got to empty this, fill up that, and then pull this back up. Yeah, you do. And I was like, that the instructions did not say that at all. Something, <laughs> there's a case that there's something that you have to empty one. Fill one up and then have to do the other one. Yeah, I'm not sure which. Yeah. Might YouTube that one, eh? <laughs> Just had a quick stop at Funked Out. Check some whips out by the boys. Going good. Sick to see. Might give the line a go a bit later. A bit dirt jumpy for, for me personally, but. See how the new bike keeps tracking today. And we'll get back on it, but for now, let's do another lap of mini. See how this compression feels. She's slick today. Bad. I think the brakes are finally working, which is good. Oh, I can't tell if that's slick or not. A bit wet. God, this thing can manual good. Holy Moses. Woo! Feels good. It's soft in the front though, I reckon. Um, corners, just to get used oh, to it. Because, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Probably not the smartest move jumping on a new bike at this time of the year, but anyway. <laughs> here we are. Oh, you got the wee ones on there, nice, nice. Yeah, I carried that and the cockpit over Very and the sick. seat post over from the last bike. And What's your bar width? Uh, I run 800s on this. What? Yeah. I don't know, I've got 780s on Jack my... Jack does like, what, what, it was 760 or something. Does he? More, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. It's super narrow. See, I, I cut my DJ ones down to 780 and I was just like, oh shit, that's really thin. Have you got 760s? Yeah. yeah. I feel like um, I liked it since Ooh. cutting down mine. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people don't regret it. I'm just like, oh, do I really want to do that? Maybe. I don't know. Alright, I'm just going to float down Sidewinder. Let's do it. High speed compression feels a bit better this run. Feels a bit more bomb proof. Whoop. Sliding in that corner, Jesus must be slippery today. Finished Black you know Betty. Big yeah. Big oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Sorry, bro. I don't want to hold you up. <laughs> Amateur hour over here. Oh. Maybe you'd be better off following Toby. 
Maybe. Probably, actually. Just getting yourself a new bike. That and I'm not great with like kicky jumps. So. It's not kicky. You ride the dirt jumps? Yeah. That's the same. It's on a big bike. Yeah. I'll probably be better on the big bike, honestly. I think it's just because I'm a new bike. It's like it's still a bit unpredictable. Holy Oh, getting racy. I'll probably do top three and then I'll see how I'm going for fourth one. Is the fourth one like heaps kickier compared to the third or? Um, that's one after Red Rocket. That one, yeah, it's, it's a little bit kickier. You just gotta, just gotta treat it like a dirt jump. Just pull up a bit. Just yeah, okay. prepared for it to send you up. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll see how the third one goes. <sighs> Sick. Red Rock, Rocket's like so much more chill now. So yeah, awesome. Yeah. I hit the old line. Like, it's not like I haven't done it. It's just, yeah. I think it's just new bike. <laughs> yeah. It always is when you're getting used to it. Yeah, so. that's it, eh? Devin reckons this kid's gonna flip one today. Yeah. So, Cheers. ready when you are, dog. That was better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, one pedal stroke, that's so much better. <laughs> yeah. Alright, you can tie me in then. A little brake tap. And that one's the steep one. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> How annoying. I'm gonna follow you, Pepe. Oh, none of this free ride stuff, man. Oh, that's chill as. Oh, yeah, bros. Thank you. Appreciate that. That was right. That's actually such a sick line. Sorry, Toby. Pepe's just stuff. <laughs> Oh. oh, that line's so sick. That's so good. Yeah, boy. That's rad. Alrighty, guys. Uh, sorry we didn't get to the end of the video the other day. Well, now that you're seeing it just now, but um, had a bit of a GoPro malfunction in the fact that I didn't charge my GoPro enough or have enough space on it. So the day got cut a little bit short in terms of video output, but um, yeah, still got in a huge amount of riding, dialed in the bike heaps, which is really sick. But um, yeah, here she is. Final look at her before the first race coming up. Problem in this party, yo. Daddy, daddy.